Hello, I'm Bob from My Florida Dreams. I am at 882 Exuma, which is in Bay Indies, Venice, Florida. I will get to that. I'm always here with my faithful companion and videographer and, and picture guy, Gene. And this is a little bit early in this, but I'm gonna tell you this. This is my new, uh, I am no photographer, but I can picture you in this house. Indies, 55 plus resort community. We are loaded with amenities, three pools, two pool houses. The third one's gonna get rebuilt very soon. All kinds of um, sports things related, tennis, bocce ball, um, horseshoes, uh, and pickleball. If you're learning or if you play pickleball, fastest growing sport, especially in Florida, we've got three courts here at a pickleball club. It's fantastic. As I mentioned, uh, 55 plus resort community, you own your home, so you have a land lease lot rent on your home. Uh, what else? Venice. What do you say about Venice? If you've never been here, come here. Don't tell too many people because it's a paradise. We've got Venice Island. We've got Sharkies. Shark tooth capital of the world. You've got south and north jetties. Crow's Nest right down there. Great place to have... Uh, a nice dinner, <clears throat> um, just a beautiful place. Uh, hurricane free right now too, so we're really happy about that. Uh, we've been doing great, we're knocking on wood. If you live in the north, you deal with snowstorms. If you live in Florida, we deal with hurricanes. Uh, we call it rule seven. If it's not there yet, don't worry about it. Okay, I've said enough. So I'm gonna talk about 882 Exuma. Now, I don't always mention this, but this house is under 20,000. Why do I mention that? This is the time to buy. Whatever your plans are, you can rent these out during prime season. The renters would have to be approved by the park. You have to do a 30 day minimum. But with that being said, um, if you're just looking for seasonal, hotels are three, $400 a night down here from November to the end of April. Uh, so picture that in, or keep that in mind. Um, house needs some TLC. It's got some good bones to it. Um, I hear the ice maker in the refrigerator. That's a good thing. We like seeing that. But it's got uh, laminate and tile floors as I walk through. I'll just have Gene start panning around as I talk. Uh, he's going to pan into your living room. Uh, most of the furniture here stays in the living room here couch desk kind of like the office desk and the tv does not stay everything else does um you know we always tell people you can clients you can come down change the the flavor of the house meaning uh just add some paint to it <clears throat> you want to look at the, the structure of the house this one's got an air conditioner from 2017 Original roof, we call it a roof over. It's got a membrane on it that's painted with a waterproof uh, material, so it keeps you know, obviously the rain out. You keep them clean and do them about every two years, you're good to go. Rule seven, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Again, nice bright living room. I mean, kitchen area, it's got a little hutch area, four chair tables with leaf in it, um, cozy kit. Uh, uh, cozy kitchen right here as I mentioned side-by-side -side refrigerator with an ice maker it's got a small compact dishwasher double sink lots and lots of cabinet space uh, a little bit of an island got a microwave looks like a newer LED lighting above four burner stove everything is electric down here it is tile floors in here We'll walk down through the hallway next. I'm a bull in the china shop, so I know I'd have to move this. I'd be walking into it every day. Coming down through your hallway, you'll stop first into our primary bathroom. It is a walk-in uh, walk shower. Again, laminate floor, our uh, tile floor. <clears throat> Looks like probably original wallpaper on this one. Uh, if I didn't say, this is a 1979 24 by 44 mobile home. 
and I say mobile home because they changed it back in 1975 to either mobile or manufactured. Coming out of the bathroom, we'll step into your guest bedroom. Two twin beds. There are four ceiling fans in this house. You know, I'm gonna scoop behind you, Gene. I wanna turn the light on. Got a large walk-in closet. That's one of the great things about these homes. Even being 24 by 44, that's 1,056 square feet. Big closets. Nice dresser on this one, in this room. Come through, it's got a little bit of a utility closet right out here. Go into the master. This is your master bedroom, ceiling fan. Again, furniture stays on this. Laminate floors. And you're going to your master bed, uh, bathroom, which is tiled. Another large walk-in closet. <clears throat> Single vanity. This one also has another uh, walk-in shower. So folks, if you're up north now, trees haven't turned yet. But I imagine it won't be long before you start seeing the trees turn. We're still in summer in September, October down here. It is the time to think about if you want to be in Florida, Southwest Florida, now's the time. Again, very bright. This is on the end of a cul-de-sac in the back of the park uh, of maybe 500 feet from the Curry Creek where you can launch a, a kayak or a canoe. Great place to sit and watch vegetation, manatees, great fishing over there, blue claw crabs, lots of stuff to do. So we'll finish out on the lanai. So I'm out on the, we call Florida room. It's got a ceiling fan. Face north. It's got vertical. Um, these are an acrylic sliders. You can slide them up and down. Keeps the rain out. Also keeps some heat in during the winter. Just a great place for, uh, what is it? An afternoon iced tea? Or maybe a margarita. Never, never know. So, just a nice home, under twenty thousand. Come down and buy it. Come see me. Give Bob a call. I'm at eight eighty two Exuma, Venice, Florida, in Bay Indies. My phone number two zero seven four seven nine five one three zero. Call me. Call me. Thank you and have a great day.